Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with meteorologist Ryan Bratton. Well, we really got lucky here, but others, not so much. Yeah, it was a close call all week yeah. long. We were saying it looked like it'd stay offshore, yeah. which is too close for comfort. Unfortunately, things worked out You for just us. never know with those things. It can Absolutely. change at any time. And I, as I'll talk about coming up at 1045, mm -hmm. it's been more than 30 years since a hurricane made a direct landfall in New England. Oh, wow. So we'll talk more about that coming up. But first, here's a look at Lee right now. It is now considered post-tropical, meaning it's lost its warm core, its hurricane-like center and now there are fronts attached to it and it's more of like a mid latitude storm or nor'easter at this point. But you can see the rain that really lashed eastern Maine and it came close to Connecticut. We may have gotten a couple of drops in the quiet corner today, but that is about it. What many of us saw last night and tonight though was a beautiful sunset. This one coming in from Scott in Lebanon this evening. Now that storm pulling away and then it's wake. We have a great day tomorrow. Sunshine to start. Some clouds will come in during the afternoon though because there's another system on the way with some more rain, not tropical, but it is a system that has some punch to it that could bring one to two inches of rain by Tuesday morning and following that great weather for the middle and end of the week. It is cool out there tonight. The dew points have dropped. We're down to 54 in Waterbury, 67 right now in Hartford. And with the air this dry, it can cool off with a clear sky and lighter winds as we have out there tonight. So a nice day tomorrow sandwiched in between Lee and then this series of systems to our west and south. This cold front brings some showers Monday morning, but then this area of low pressure will swell up with some more rain that tries to come in for Monday afternoon and Monday night before tonight. It's mostly clear and cool temperatures dropping to between 50 and 55. Some of the coolest spots could be down in the upper 40s briefly early tomorrow morning. A nice start to the day tomorrow with sunshine becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. You can take your pick tomorrow. Maybe head to the beach if you want one last gasp of summer. A good day on the sound, but be aware for the Rhode Island beaches. Once you get to westerly and Mesquamacate, there will be some rip currents and higher surf there. Or if you're thinking of fall, you can head to some of the fairs and the weather will be great for all of those, including the Big E, Berlin, the Guilford Fair, the Four Town Fair, and the Orange Country Fair. I think we got them all in. Hope you enjoy it if you're headed out there tomorrow. Weather going downhill on Monday, a cool day with lots of clouds and periods of rain as this front comes in from the west. And then the biggest question mark in the Monday night forecast is where does this area of low pressure go? Because it'll have a lot of heavy rain with it, and it looks like it travels somewhere over southern New England, but will be close to the edge of it. So the potential is there for some heavier rain Monday evening and Monday night. It also could just go to our east. That'd be good if it did, because we got plenty of rain earlier this week in eastern Connecticut. Once that gets out of here, we are in good shape, though, for the middle and end of the week. As far as the rain goes, the potential is there by Tuesday morning for one to two inches of additional rain, especially in eastern Connecticut. Tomorrow, though, a good looking day, sunny to partly cloudy. Any rain holds off until well after sunset tomorrow night. Periods of rain for Monday and then beautiful for the middle of the week. Classic September weather, it looks like from Tuesday through the end of the week. We'll have more coming up at 1030.